Good morning, Grade 7. Today we will make exercise on nets and the surface area of solid shapes. In the last video, we studied that the formulas of the area of the plane figure that we will use more are this one. So we have the rectangle is equal base times height. The triangle 1 over 2 times base times height. Trapezoid, we have the sum of the bases and times the height times 1 over 2. So we have 1 over 2 times height times base 1 plus base 2. And the area of the square is side length times side length. And so we can say the second power of the side. Okay, the, in the formulas of the area, we have that the height is always perpendicular. And we say also that the area of the circle is pi times the second power of r, where r is the radius and pi is equal 3.14 or 22 over 7. We... We have also said that the surface area of a three-dimensional figure is the combined areas of the faces. So we open the solid shape and then we calculate the area of each face. And then we can find the surface area of a prism by drawing a net of the flattened figure. Okay, a net. But what is a net of a shape? A net is the shape that is formed by unfolding a three-dimensional figure. In other words, a net is composed of all the faces of the figure. We have said it in the last videos and we said it also in the class. And then I put this figure that uh, represent the most important nets of the most important uh, solid shapes. Now we can begin from the exercise. Exercise number one. We have this prism. So, we know that the length is equal 4, the width is equal 3, the height is equal 10. We divided this prism in three colors, purple, pink, and the green. If we make the net, we have two rectangle purple, two rectangle pink, and two rectangle green. So... The volume, we said in the class, that is equal 4 times 3, 4, 10. 4 times 3 is equal to 12, times 10 is equal 120. The surface area, the two rectangle green, the two sides are 4 and 3. So it's 4, plus, 4 times 3 plus 4 times 3. The two pink rectangles are 3 times 10. So we have 3 times 10 plus 3 plus times 10 because we have two pink rectangles the two purple rectangles have a si have two sides one four and one ten so the area of the rectangle is length and width so we have four times ten and four times ten so four times three is equal to 12 3 times 10 is equal 30, 4 times 10 is equal 40. So we have 12 plus 12 plus 40 plus 40 plus 30 plus 30. If we make the sum, we have 164. So the surface area is equal 164. Now we want to using the net to, of uh, each solid shape to find its surface area. We have this uh, triangular prism 
and this is uh, its net. We divided it uh, into tri two triangles, J and N, and the three rectangles, K, L, M. Now we try to solve it. We have put uh, the length of the side. Okay, so J is the triangle up. So J, the area of J is equal base times height divided two. So the base is equal six. The height is equal eight. So six times eight is equal forty-eight. Divided two is equal twenty-four. So the area of the rectangle J and the area of the rectangle N is equal twenty-four. Now, the rectangle K have a side of 8 and a side of 9. So, length times width is equal, 8 times 9 is equal 72. So, the area of K is equal 72. The rectangle L, the area of the rectangle L is equal base times high, or length times width is the same. So, 6 times 9 equal 54. The area of M is equal length and width, so we have 9 times 10 is equal 90. We said that the triangle J is the equal the triangle N, so the area is the same. So the surface area is the, the sum of these areas. So we make 24 plus 72 plus 54 plus 90 plus 24 equal 264. Exercise number three. We have this net is again a triangle prism. We want to calculate the surface area. We have a rectangle A, a rectangle B, a rectangle C, and the two triangles E and D. E and D have the same area. So we have that rectangle A is length times width the area. So 12 times 8 is equal 96. The area of B, B is a rectangle, so the area is equal, length time width, so 10 times 12, equal 120. The area of C, C is again a rectangle, so length time width, so 12 times 8, equal 96. Now we calculate the area of E. E is equal base times height, over 2, so 10 times 9 over 2. 10 times 9 equal 90. Divided 2, 45. The area of D is the same. Now, to, for the surface area, we make the sum of these areas. So, 96 plus 120 plus 96 plus 45 plus 45. And if we make the sum, it will be equal 402. Now we have this net. This is a net of a cylinder. So we have two circles and one rectangle. The two circles are equal, have the same radius 4.4. .4. So the area of the circle is equal pi times the second power of r. So pi times 4.4 .4 the second the power of 2 pi times 19.36 pi is equal 3.14 19.36 times 3.14 is equal 60.7904 
Now, we know only one side of the rectangle, the length that is equal 7.2 cm. We want to know also the width because for the area we need length times width. So, the width it will be equal to the circumference because this is long as the circumference of the circle. So we have to make pi times 2 times r. Pi times 2 equal times 4.4. 2 times 4.4 equal 8.8. .8. Pi times 8.8 .8 is equal 27,632. So the area of the rectangle is length time width, the length is 7.2, the width is 27,632, so the area is equal 198.9504, and the surface area is the plus of the area of the two circles and, and the area of the rectangle. So we make 60.7904 plus 60.7904 plus 198.9504 equal 320.5312. The last exercise is a trapezoidal prism. We have a trapezoidal prism and his net. Now we want to calculate the area. We have two trapezoid that are equal and four rectangle. The area of uh, one of these rectangle is not a rectangle but is a square. In fact, A is equal is a square. The area of a square is side length times side length, so it's equal 20 times 20. Equal 400. The area of B, B is a trapezoid, so base 1 plus base 2 times height over 2, so 39 plus 18 times 12 over 2. 39 plus 18 is equal 57, times 12 is equal 684, divided 2 is equal 342, so the area of B and the area of C is equal 342. The area of C, C is a rectangle, F is a rectangle, sorry. The area of F, F is a rectangle, is length times width. So 39 times 20 is equal 780. The area of D, D is a rectangle, so is length times width equals 13 times 20, equal 260. The area of E, E is a rectangle, is length times width, and so 18 times 20 equals 360. The surface area is the sum of the areas, so is 400 plus 342 plus 342 plus 780 plus 260 plus 360. And the sum is 2,484. Good study and bye.